hello friends in my this video i am going to discuss about hamming distance which is very important concept in different fields like in information theory and coding or in uh, machine learning or in data mining different courses like in communication engineering we use this hamming distance to check uh, if there is any error in the uh, uh, received uh, data uh, and uh, in the transmitted data okay if there is some mismatch in between transmitted and received data okay for that purpose we use this hamming distance concept okay that's what i am going to show you using matlab so what is that see in information theory hamming distance between two strings of equal length is the number of positions at which the corresponding symbols are different okay that is conditions just try to observe uh, two strings of equal length that must two strings must be of equal length and the number of positions at which the corresponding symbols are different you just sum them up uh, how many such positions are there and that is called humming humming distance okay so like for example here you can take one uh, uh, string as carolyn k a r o l i n and uh, another one is catherine k a t h r i n then see first two symbols or first two characters k a is common basically in between two strings but the next three r o l is there in carolyn but in catherine t h r is there so three uncommon three mismatch so uh, count where is three and in the last i n is matching in the two strings okay so basically there are three mismatches in the two equal length string so that the having distance is three like that same concept can be implemented for numbers also like here one two one seven three eight nine six is one number another number is two two three uh, two two three three seven nine six now if you observe here one seven is mismatching with two three and eight is mismatching with seven so total number of uh, total uh, that is having distance is three because total number of mismatch is three okay now we have to implement using matlab so very simple what we can do first we will take two inputs uh, that may be strings or number basically numbers also you can take input a string uh, then after taking the input you can convert into integer if you are comfortable in working with in integer domain rather than string domain using double keyword we can easily convert strings to integer in matlab as you know from my previous video all right then you can just compare for starting from the uh, beginning to the end of the uh, character or inte sorry integer array you just compare each symbols are same or not if they are not same then increment one counter and at the end of the execution in the counter the hamming distance will be stored right see here very simple code clc clear all close all then x equal to input enter the first string okay y equal to input enter the second string and then x1 equal to double of x and y1 equal to double of y basically we are converting these two in integers uh, these two strings input strings into uh, double or in integer okay then c equal to 0 one counter we are defining then we are using one for loop from the first index of the array to the last that is for i equal to one colon length of x1 here instead of x1 you can use y1 also because x1 and y1 are of same length because as the definition of having distance are just that it must be of same length if x of i not equal to y of i we are going to increment that counter in this if in this for and at the end of the execution in this three variable our having distance will be stored so that display c all right let us check whether our code is working or not. So evaluate selection, enter the string. Okay. So let me take the string from the Wikipedia itself. So control C and here as we are giving string input. So don't forget to give inside one uh, single quotation. Okay. Then first one is Caroline and second one is Catherine. Control C and you paste here control v okay just press enter see what you are getting output the hamming distance between these two input strings of same length is three okay like same uh, like enter the first string suppose you take itc which is one of the very important course in electronics and communication engineering domain that is information theory and coding another one you can take wmc wireless and mobile communication okay now see i and w one mismatch t e and m second mismatch but c is matching okay so only uh, two mismatch so i mean distance is two let us check enter the output is two okay now one more case let us check let us check for integers but integers also we will uh, treat a string so we are we will provide inside single quotation so let me take this particular string okay uh, sorry this particular integer so control c and paste here control v 
enter and the second one let us take from the wikipedia second example uh, control c and here we go paste control v you just enter see output is three okay so basically there are three mismatches okay you can similarly check for this particular example control c and here control a evaluate selection and here control v and here one more that is this one control c and here it goes control v enter see hamming distance is two is it matching see here hamming distance is two all right so our code is perfectly working now if you want you can implement the same program as function also because you may repeatedly uh, use this particular hamming distance calculation in your program in communication engineering you can implement one function function c equal to hamming of s1 comma s2 where s1 and s2 are two strings of same length y1 equal to double of s1 y2 equal to double of s2 c equal to zero and same algorithm for i equal to one colon length of y1 uh, if y1 of i not equal to y2 of i c equal to c plus one in the if and the for and one more and don't forget to give to end the function okay and the function should return c c as output because c is the output argument which is written in the left hand side with the function keyword and the function name is hamming okay so whenever uh, after storing this in your uh, required position or required uh, part of uh, part in your computer whenever you want you can call the function and you can calculate hamming distance between two strings no need to write your code again and again okay so this is very important in error correction it is used widely in communication engineering like, like suppose you just consider these two strings one zero one 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 zero one okay uh, like as you know that we always prefer digital communication uh, than analog communication and uh, today's world is completely digitized digitalized so that uh, in digital communication era uh, if you transmit this particular sequence and if we are receiving this then and uh, check the bicephalal uh, mechanisms are there which you can uh, study in detail in your information theory and coding course source uh, encoding channel encoding source decoding channel encoding detail in detail way it is discussed these topics are discussed in that ipc course so there you can compare if you know okay this is my original corrected format uh, uh, or the uh, message which we have transmitted and this is what we received then we can easily uh, if from the hamming distance concept we can easily calculate if there is some error uh, is uh, there in our received data sequence or not okay like in uh, data mining also it is widely used in machine learning also like in machine learning if you consider uh, two nearest uh, suppose uh, nodes or some elements that they are in a particular uh, big data size uh, input then uh, the uh, finding the distance in between two nearest uh, data sometimes hamming distance may be used like in data mining suppose what we do suppose uh, you have a large set of data and you want to find the uh, what how much the two datas are close to each other like here caroline and catherine two data okay you just consider these two string as two data you can uh, compare these two strings in two ways like how many dissimilar symbols uh, in a same position is there in caroline or catherine like in hamming distance we have calculated or you can calculate what is the correlation in between these two data okay like here k a initially both these strings are starting with k a and in the ending part also i n is there so like this you can find the correlation or the difference so these kind of concepts are widely used in data mining also so uh, it may help you in some uh, programming in your communication engineering also for calculating errors okay I'll post the two codes, one general code and also the function code in the description of my this video to calculate the hamming distance between two input strings of same length. Okay, so if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.